So I removed these air cleaners, for lack of a better term, air filters, I guess you would say, and cleaned them off. And now I'm just going to put them back on. Now, the reason that I took them off to clean them, I'm going to grab something there, is because uh, last year I inquired as to how much replacement ones were, and I figured for about, you know, 50 bucks or something. <laughs> no. It would have been for the pair of them over $900. Hundred dollars. I'm gonna say that again because I just dropped this. Nine hundred dollars for a pair of these. If you don't believe me yourself, there is the part number. You can look it up, call around, but that's what I was quoted. So these are uh, Merc Cruiser uh, part number A seven three two zero. So A seven three twenty, made by a company called Barbron for Merc Cruiser. And they're just, uh, you know, the aluminum fins, and they're all ooky. So how I cleaned them was I just sprayed a lot of engine uh, degreaser from this side and just blasted it through. So, of course, because the air comes in from this side. So that's where all the gook was. So I put that degreaser on, let it sit for about 15 minutes, and then got the hose and blasted it out with water. Rinse it really good. It's not 100% perfect, but it's a hell of a lot better than it was, especially considering the fact that this boat is 20 over 20 years old and the fact that these are 500 bucks a piece. And I'm not shitting. <laughs> I'm not fibbing with you. That's what it would cost me in Canadian funds with tax. So 420 bucks plus 13% HSD, 900 and something. So almost a thousand bucks. Just insanity. So that's why I clean them. Now I'm just going to put them back on and uh, should be good to go. So these just simply snap on to that housing. There you go. Real easy. And then it's just a big hose clamp. So I'll tighten that down with a flathead uh, screwdriver. And then put the cover back on. Gluten tight. And just a heads up that there is a main 50 amp breaker underneath here. So I'm guessing that's an ignition breaker. So if uh, your boat's causing you grief and not starting and everything else has um, not worked for you, maybe just pop this cover off and make sure that this breaker hasn't been tripped. And just reset it and then find out why it's tripping. But anyways, that just goes back right there. So there's a little uh, notch out on this side, just out of the way of the throttle. And two screws. Well, stole bolts, basically, right? You know, these jobs would go a lot quicker if I didn't have to have a uh, camera in my hand all the time. <laughs> but then, if I didn't film it, just imagine the hours and hours of useless entertainment that you would be missing. Now, I don't have a star-tipped screwdriver this big. I only have one on the boat. I think I only have one in my existence of life because they're going to be the stupidest invention ever. So I'm just using a, or a Allen key. It fits. I mean, if these things are really tight and I had to take them off, it would probably start to strip those. So I just put them back on snug. They ain't going to go anywhere. Not really doing too much. Just snug those down. Voila. Done. So again, in case you missed it, this is a Mercruiser. 7.4 liter MPI multi-port fuel injection and the model is a blue water inboard. These are the exact same engines that we had in the last boat in the 400 sedan bridge. And that's why this boat handles so much nicer because it's 10,000 pounds lighter yet with the same power. It's a dream to drive my friend. It's a dream. So yeah, these things, if I haven't put this one on yet. I'm going to do that in a second. I'm going to put the camera down. But uh, 
again would cost about 950 bucks Canadian so it's, it's 420 a piece what I was quoted so that's 840 plus HST it's a hundred nine dollars so that's basically nine hundred and fifty dollars for two of these which is crazy so that's why I clean them and they're gonna be they will operate better than they have in probably 10 years so that's it that's a quick little tip hopefully that uh, was entertaining for you I'm going to throw this one into the boating basics playlist as well as the how I did it boat repairs maintenance and all that stuff again folks this isn't how to do it it's how I did it so bear that in mind Alrighty, this is really hard on my knee <laughs> anyways uh that's where my knee is on top of the exhaust riser I'll live okay that's it for this one gotta go got lots more work to do before the boat goes in in a couple of days so cheers